hundreds of participants from across the African countries and other parts of the world. I want to recognize and appreciate His Excellency, um, His Senior Representative, um, Mohamed Aruna Manta, the High Commissioner to South Africa. Uh, he gave his apology yesterday that he's attending a, an event for his Senior Representative. Um, and His, his Excellency, um, Andrew N. Indi, the Consul General of Nigeria to South Africa. And also, I want to appreciate the presence of, the, uh, in absence, the Otumba Shegun Gumbutan, the Odua African Union Coordinator, uh, the special guest of honor and the speaker, the special guest of the Professor Aregbe Shola R. Adewale and Professor Francis Bayo Lewu, respectively. Uh, those are our guest speaker. The Coordinating Council of OPU South Africa and other dignitaries present. A very special thanks to the global convener, OPU Worldwide, the highly esteemed Iba Gani Abiodun in the Adiyan, the 15th area of Yoruba land. Lord Rosel, for his unwavering support to, to me and the Community Council of South Africa towards hosting this summit in South Africa. Your stalwart leadership is what keeps us motivated and is and in service to our people. We are here with a common sense of responsibility. The Odua Progressive Union, OPU, is a pan Yoruba organization formed in 2011 to create an enabling platform for sons and daughters of Yoruba ancestors in diaspora. OPU is a non governmental, non religious organization formed like, with like minds to foster unity among Yoruba sons and daughters in diaspora to work for the common interest of Yoruba land. The OPU was born in Great Britain, but was officially launched in India in November 2012. And, uh, and on September 7, 2013, in Great Britain, it was launched, followed by the launch in Holland on September 14, then France on September 12, Germany on September 10, Australia, Australia chapter was launched in, on the 16th of August 2014 at Vienna, Austria, while OPU South Africa chapter was launched in 2015. On, my, on the last count, OPU exists in 98 countries across the continent of the world. The organization is saddled with the responsibility of reawakening the seemingly dead spirit of culturally diverse Yoruba nation with strong determination and objective of emancipation, liberating, orientating, and reorientating the Yoruba race. The OPU seek to strengthen the fabrics of orientating the Yoruba race, the Yoruba co cohesion, unity, and, and integration of Yoruba people all across Yoruba land. We are all we are we are of the strong belief that with a common sense of purpose, the Yoruba race can work together, realizing the dream and aspiration of our forefathers. The mission of the union is to create an enabling, economically viable platform, promoting peace, unity, and harmonious existence among all Yoruba sons and daughters in the diaspora. The aim and objective of OPU, among others, is to work for the political and economic emancipation of Yoruba race. To build an Odua house in each country where the organization exists, to serve as a rallying point for all people of Yoruba race in diaspora. The house, the house will also offer them the opportunity to generate funds to offer, uh, to offer a platform for assistance of any form for all Yoruba sons and daughters in their country of res residence. We seek to attract interest and research and teaching of Yoruba language to Yoruba sons and daughters in diaspora to keep them abreast of their history and background. Part of our vision is to create a platform where Yoruba sons and daughters in, the, in diaspora can meet for, to offer support for one another and aggregate the interests of their race. As part of our mission in OPU, we are determined to provide every sons and daughter of Yoruba race 
in the diaspora with the most effective representation in their country of residence and to preserve and promote the historical and cultural heritage of our people. In OPU, we are determined to inspire and nurture the underlying spirit of love and sharing among Yoruba sons and daughters in diaspora. For OPU South Africa, it has continued to grow from strength to strength, doing great exploit in supporting and assisting our communities. We have a network tent that cover all provinces uniting and assisting all Yoruba in South Africa. During COVID-19, OPU South Africa